Hey guys, it's me, Penny, and it's Jasmine coming through with my opinion. Well, welcome to my channel. Anybody that's new, hello, nice to meet you. I see your comments. Thank you for any likes that you guys give, and thank you for your comments and the flattery. <laughs> but um, now let's get down to business. Okay, so Donald Trump tweeted something in the sense of that we need, that he is working on you know our relationship with Russia and that he's the hardest that he's been the hardest president on the topic of Russia of all time bullshit okay sorry I have to call it the way I see it right now Donald Trump should not be looking at oh what our relationship with Russia and how it could be you know restored and how no we don't got time for that Okay, our government is on a government shutdown and our president is worried about his relationship with Russia. Because remember, Russia is what got him in the, that chair in the first place. Okay? Okay, that is not a conspiracy theory. That is a freaking fact. And whoever doesn't understand that, I don't know what to do with you, okay? Sorry, that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it because it is. And so the New York Times, I believe, went and and, po and um let out an article and so the fbi is has an open investigation on donald trump and his relationship with russia and donald trump is not making it look any cleaner by every time oh you know tweeting about oh there is you know it's like he's in love with putin and it's like crazy so always tweeting about russia always tweeting about russia because you he's scared too you think that he ain't scared he's scared too because he knows that the, everyone is on to him. And he can't handle this job. He can't. Our government is on a government shutdown. Okay? Anybody that works for the government is not getting paid. They are working for free. These people are not getting any benefits, any health care, nothing. No pay, no nothing, nothing. These people aren't getting nothing and they're still going to work because they're really afraid of what would happen if they don't go to work and then all of a sudden when the government comes back on, these people don't got jobs. No, this is not freaking right. And then we got a president that's over here tweeting about Russia because he knows he's getting investigated. Like, what does it take for his butt to be impeached like i'm serious i'm sorry not sorry no this is crazy okay these people are freaking working for free and then you know all everybody in the senate up oh, it's it was yesterday you know friday everything up oh, three three o'clock or four o'clock they all went home but they get to come back monday and they get to get paid Okay, while well, these other people like TSA, like, I mean, uh, anybody that works for the government is not going to get paid. Okay, so these people are parents, mothers, children, not children, but parents, you know, they have children. They got medical bills. They got to go they, and they're still going to work. These people are still going to work because they love their job and they love their career. And they want to excel with their family. Because at the end of the day, these are still human beings that have family. This is just not, oh, workers from the FBI. Like, they, like they nobody. I mean, for the FBI. I'm sorry, guys. Workers for the government. If you're new to my channel, I'm sorry. I mess up all the time. But if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know, Jasmine slips up here and there. But I'm still going to bring it. All right. Anywho. This is crazy. And we as people have to figure this out because we got to get out of this pickle that we dealt ourselves in when this man became president. I did not vote for him. I voted for the other side. I'm a Democratic. That's what I am right now. And so, you know, maybe if some independent person, you know, would come and blow my mind away, you know, but I can't believe that this is a president that people voted for. And a lot of these people that voted for him are now, like, crying because he just got their freaking job basically taken away. No, they're not. They, no, they still got to go to work. 
but they're not getting paid. But a lot of these people are the ones that voted for him. A lot of them. They won't admit it, but a lot of them voted for Trump. And now you're sitting there without money, without income coming in, while Mr. President Trump is living his best life, not knowing what to do with this over office. Like, it's freaking ridiculous that this is the what we are going through in 2019. We opened our new year in this country like this. What does it take for the people that still support him to open their freaking eyes? That man is the fucking devil. The devil himself. He don't care about nobody. But him, believe that, okay? You believe that one. He don't care about nobody, not his wife, not his kids, nobody. Him, him, him. He's selfish. He's egotistical. And he's freaking insane. And I was watching CNN, and they were like saying like, they even think that he could have been manipulated by, by Putin and by Russia to, you know, to, because he really wanted to become president. It was like, it was this title that he needed for his ego. He needed to have all this power. But look, he's running USA to the ground. Running us to the fucking ground. And we got to wait another fucking year to vote again. I swear if this country votes this man in again, I've lost hope. I've, I will lose all hope for the USA. Seriously. I'm Puerto Rican. And I just, I will never forget what happened with the hurricane. I will never forget how he disgraced my people. I will never forget that. And I will never forgive it either. Throwing what, bounty papers? Paper rolls? To people who have just had... And then he said that not that many people died in Puerto Rico. Listen, my father still lives out there. All right? So don't lie. A lot of people died from that hurricane. And, they, and then a lot of people died from the circumstances that that hurricane left them in. Okay? My uncle died last year. Right after that hurricane, my uncle died. My uncle who lost his leg, who had lost an arm, who needed a lot of medical attention, couldn't get that medical attention, okay? And three months after that hurricane, my uncle was so skinny, he was skin and bones, okay? There was barely food for people. There was barely water for people. The government didn't help Puerto Rico the way that he wants to say he helped Puerto Rico. He could go screw himself with that. He didn't. I'm telling you, he didn't. And it's a freaking disgrace that we have this man in that Oval Office. It's a freaking disgrace, and it's on us, the people that voted for him. Because even though I didn't vote for him, I'm still part of the people. And we, as the people, need to... Figure something out and get this man out. Because all this talk, 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 nothing's getting solved. We on what, day 24? On our government shutdown? I think we, this, we, we shut down on December 22nd, I believe. It was December 22nd, okay? And what day are we on now? And still? 12, I think it's today, and still? And he's tweeting about Russia? Really? That's what you got to tweet about? Come on. Come on. Get off Twitter. He needs to get off Twitter and get his ass really going. Stop about the... Listen, they don't want to talk about the damn border. Wall that you want to build. They want to talk about more serious things that are happening right now in this country. With the people that are civilians right here. Worry about here first. Because he's not worried about us, the people. 
As long as he's straight, he's good. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I had to go on this rant because I seen this article on CNN and it just freaking pissed me off. That we're talking about freaking Twitter on CNN instead of talking about this damn government shutdown that's going on. Please make this make sense to me because none of it does. None of it. But anyways, that was my rant on Donald Trump, the president, because he's not my damn president, he's the president of the United States, who's more worried about his relationship with Russia than worried about us, the people. And the people that he has employed as workers of the government. These people aren't getting what they need. I seen a lady break down crying yesterday, you know, about her being sick and still having to go to work, not get paid. Her daughter, teenage daughter, actually told her mom, you don't have to give me snack today or for school any day. I could, I could go to school without a snack. I don't need a snack. Just to cut corners. This is sad. Okay? This mother is the only breadwinner of her, of her household, and there's plenty of them. Plenty of them. Why don't he try to find solutions for her kids to get a snack? How about that? Can you at least do that, Donald Trump? Can you at least handle that? I bet you can't because you don't even care. But anyways, love you guys, my subscribers. And, you know, I just want to get us still, you know, to start thinking about, hey, this election is going to come up. And we as people need to do the right thing. And get this man out of the office. And I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. And you guys can share your thoughts in the comments. You know. Have a blessed day you guys. I'll be back with more content later.